All right, hi there YouTube, it's me Morrissey at America playing on the Korean version of Dragon Blades and in this episode I'll be talking about the U Raid boss or chapter 4 myth mode U Raid boss. Now to unlock this raid you have to be in myth mode for chapter 4 and you need a ticket for this. Now when it got released way back then they were handing out some tickets every day you logged in. To get these tickets, it's the same dealio with any other U raid where you have to get at least 5 raid essences from any other raids and you can spend those on these tickets. It should be the third tab for miscellaneous from any of the raids and then once you have the ticket in your inventory, you can do this raid boss. Now, I decided to do a couple of runs before I, do, I did this recording and pretty much I'm a I, I'm trying to figure out who the hell this guy is. Now, I doubt he's Ragnarok, unless he is, but he has a different form, and it's just the fact that, you know, Winter Bana is supposed to be with him. Unless Ragnarok decided to ditch her and was like, you know what, I go solo. But I doubt that, because those two are lovers? Question mark. I don't know. <laughs> but, anyways, let me get started and start this raid. So, you raid boss or the you raid in general will drop you gear equipment, and that's better than a triple S equipment because if you look at the stats or the the set effects, you get one plus set effect compared to a triple S set gear. And apparently we have two ultimate tiers, one ultimate Omega, one ultimate Stigma, one ultimate Chronos, and one ultimate Helios. And it looks like we're not actually denting this guy. But yeah, as you can see, this guy has angel wings. And he's just going ham on us. And I still have no clue where he's from. I think he's a titan? But... Or what other... I forgot the other being that is up there. Because if you read the translations for Chapter 4 storyline, you understand that... The titans and giants came from a certain area, and I'm not going to spoil it because, you know, if a bunch of global players are watching this, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys unless you want me to, but, you know, still, I had to be considerate of people that don't know about, much about the storyline and want to actually read about it, then, yeah, I'm not going to say much, but let's just say that this guy, he's either Ragnarok or he's something else that's higher and above Ragnarok, or maybe the titans in, in, in themselves. But I'm interested to know where this entire thing is going because chapter 5 is about to come out and I'm curious to what are we going to do from here on out because we already, I would say we killed Ragnarok again but knowing that bastard he'll come back alive and be like ha 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 I'm resurrected again bitch you had to kill me now. Kill me again excuse me and yeah it's just I, I'm, I really love the story for Dragon Blades, don't get me wrong, it's just that I wish it was more lore to back up some stuff. Like, I'm still clueless to how the fuck Lucaria and Grayso got together, and why it's not Gaella, and what's Gaella's beef with Grayso. And then there's also some other stuff like, they could, I, I don't know, they just need to add more lore for these characters. You can get a hint of their lore by reading some of the characters' description and abilities, but... That still doesn't give a lot to work with. I mean, when I try to make my fan fiction and stuff, it's like I had to guess their personalities and try to figure out what's their backstory. And I'm surprised they didn't... Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't transcend a lot of the Awakened characters. And yeah, I apparently got a U-grade chess piece, which I'm happy about. But now I need to continue farming for this guy. And most likely I'll be spending a lot of my tickets just farming for farming some other raids so I can continue raiding for you gear equipment but anyways yeah when it comes to chapter 5 I'm very curious to know if the keys that we have on our characters right now can be equipped to our transcended form because if you think about it transcended allies are stronger than an ultimate key depending on how much you enhanced that transcended ally for example in an ultimate transcendent margaret will obviously beat an ultimate transcended sasha yeah sasha key and it's because one margaret can summon two transcendent bodens as well but 
it's just that she's just transcended. She has more. She has better stats. She has a better umph compared to a key. Now I'm just curious that. I'm just curious if the transcendent main characters are actually strong and we don't need a key anymore. Or maybe, maybe we're slowly getting into the point that, or slowly getting to the point where we actually get transcended keys. Or maybe something better. Maybe. I don't know. I'm doing a lot of speculations because it's the. Why not? People always like to speculate stuff. And if I'm right, or if it happens to be right, then. I'll be fucking surprised, and if he goes in some other new direction and it's really really good, I'll be fucking amazed. So, pretty much, yeah. I'm excited about season 5, it's not showing as much through my voice, but yeah, it's just, I need to improve my shit first. <laughs> because if we're going into season 5, that means stronger enemies, that means harder story content, that means me trying to farm my butt off again and try to just persevere through whatever crap that's gonna stop me and just you know being up there but I doubt I'm up there when it comes to the Korean Dragon Blaze because there's a lot of players that are up there in the Korean Dragon Blaze and they're stronger than me or like a lot of other people and yeah it's, it, it's like trying to beat someone in their home turf so yeah I got a triple S gear to drop and that's not what I'm aiming for. So I'm going to go again. This might be the last round because apparently we're kind of slow at killing this guy. But yeah, you can see all of his battle animations on the screen. I think when we get him to half HP or one fourth HP, he gets pissed off and he starts killing everyone. And we got two Atlases at ultimate status. Two ultimate Helios, one Omega, and one Tyr. Uh, I think we could... I don't think he's actually stunned, but he's doing that animation where he's kind of like leaning back. And apparently they killed me. And I... Mm, do I want to wait? I, I, I'll wait for a bit before I use my key. I mean my revive. And yes, I should have more than one revive slot and someone decided to revive me. Okay. I was going to pop one when someone else died, but okay. Yeah, I should... Okay, a lot of us died... And I pop my revive scroll. And now DPS kind of... Well, I mean, DPS would be the rogues, Atlas, and Tyr. But I think Tyr does a lot of damage compared to an Atlas. But Atlas can't stun. But I don't think it's working on this U-Raid boss. And half of us are dead. And it's only the Atlases. Okay, panic, panic. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I should definitely unlock these other two slots and just put in some revive scrolls there. So we can increase our chances of not getting fucked in the ass so hard. But yeah, also I forgot to mention that they're making the ultimate transcended titans. Actually, once we make an ultimate transcended titan, yeah, it's not gonna destroy the key, but it's gonna destroy the deified form. Or technically the deified form evolves into the transcended version of the titan form and then... Yeah, we still get to keep the keys around. I, I don't know why. I was thinking that we could somehow equip the transcended titans onto us, but I, I was just being silly. And we killed it. But yeah, that guy is definitely... I'm leaning on the fact that he's not Ragnarok. And he's some higher being that decides to pop out of nowhere and be like, Hey, you, yeah, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, but I'm gonna drop all this Yu Gear raid stuff for you. So, yeah, farm my ass. And I got a helmet. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or concerns when it comes to the myth, the chapter 4 Yu Raid myth mode boss or raid, put it down in the comments below. Let me know about your opinions when it comes to. This boss in general, like, maybe you want to do... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If you want to make up some backstory to him or, like, kind of guess on what he is, let me know in the comments below. But once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys around. Peace.